Welcome everyone to another edition of Journey with Josh. In this video, we're going to be making an easy Greek salad. This is the third video in our series, Bringing Greece Home Through Food. This is an easy fresh salad recipe that punches a lot of flavor, bringing that feeling of Santorini back home, also while eating healthy. Thank you to our sponsors at SpoonAbilities.com. Now, let's get cooking. Okay, so we're gonna top all this off with a wonderful Greek salad that's so easy. The ingredients, one half small red onion that's halved and thinly sliced, some kosher salt, an eighth cup of red wine vinegar, grated zest and juice of one half lemon, one half teaspoon of honey, one half teaspoon of dried oregano, freshly ground pepper, 1 8 cup of extra virgin olive oil like we've got at SpoonAbilities.com and we're probably going to have a little bit more for drizzling 6 small vine ripened tomatoes that are quartered a half cup of Kalamata olives that are halved and pitted 2-3 to three cucumbers 1 4 ounce block of Greek feta cheese that we'll be slicing and if you want to you can top it off with some fresh oregano leaves Okay so it's time to make our Greek salad which is really easy the first ingredient we're going to add is half small uh, red onion here. So prior to uh, chopping this all up, I soaked it for about 15 minutes in a heavily salted ice water bath. Now that does two things. It keeps the onions crisp, but it also draws out some of the sulfur in the onions, making them less harsh. The next ingredient we're going to add is some salt. And then one eighth cup of red wine vinegar. This is essentially a building a dressing into the salad as we go. Uh, the lemon juice, uh, half of a lemon and lemon juice, uh, the zest from the lemon. And then one half teaspoon of honey, let you do that. Dried oregano. Okay, we're gonna stir this a little bit. Let's see. So you need to emulsify it. Get it really, really good. That's about as mulsy as it's going to get. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to uh, put in the tomatoes. We're going to put in the cucumbers. So it's a lot more cucumbers than you'd normally use, but we had some cucumbers that were fresh and they were going to start going bad. So we said, well, better use them than to waste them. And I like cucumbers, it's very summery. This is a very summery salad. Perfect for a hot day like today. Probably heavy on the cucumbers. We could probably do some more tomatoes too. And we're gonna put in our olives. You didn't put in the uh, olive oil. We're going to use eighth cup olive oil. Go, 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 stop. A little bit more. Okay. How about the, uh, that goes, that goes on top when we're done. Okay. And then the feta cheese, we're just going to toss in and fold. Be really careful that you don't break it. And if you break it, that's okay. I'll, I'll, we'll taste the same. You break it, you bought it. Oops. 
And that's all there is to it. Um, we're going to top, top with oregano. We're going to top with some fresh oregano and pepper. Some pepper. Don't put it in yet. That's gonna be for garnish. And there's our beautiful salad. So I'm going to plate all of this and we'll be right back with the entire meal prepared. And there you have it. Look at this gorgeous plate. We have our beautiful Greek salad, we've got our tzatziki sauce, we've got our hummus with the kalamata olive um, dip from Spoon Abilities, and the uh, hummus with the red pepper, roasted red pepper uh, dip from Spoon Abilities, and then we also have here the roasted eggplant. This stuff, I had never tasted it before, this stuff is so good, so, so good. Very smoky flavor, strongly recommend this eggplant dip. Around this, we've got our pita bread and we've got pita chips. And we're going to pair this with our Greek wine. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Journey with Josh. I had an amazing time doing this, bringing Santorini back home. I missed that place, it was so wonderful. Um, Are you gonna give them a sneak preview of, of what we're gonna do attempt next? We'll see what we attempt next. Um, but I, I want to say now, uh, thank you for joining us. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you like this video, click that thumbs up. That lets me know if you want more. Um, and click on the notification bell to, let, uh, to be notified when I do upload videos. And I've got two more planned for Greece. Um, I really enjoyed my trip to Greece, so I wanted to bring that home. So thank you for joining us.